Hello and welcome to the course of Computer Network uh, Part 2 Today we are going to discuss about hierarchical routing as uh, we have discussed both the intra-domain routing uh, algorithms the first one was uh, blink state and the second one was distance vector in the last lectures so today we are going to see uh, the hierarchical uh, routing as uh, we have already discussed link state and distance vector both the routing algorithms in our uh, last lectures uh, and we saw that we use those uh, algorithms on a small uh, network like uh, with six nodes in autonomous system or three nodes in autonomous system but the real scenario is completely different so our uh, study so far is idealization all routers are identical and we have a flat network uh, no congestion it's like that the simple networks uh, were there on which we applied distance vector and link state routing algorithm but as, as uh, you can see the practical uh, uh, environment is completely different if, if you scale that uh, uh, with 600 million destinations can't store all destinations in a routing table routing table exchange would swamp links administrative autonomy internet is all about network of networks as we all know we have already discussed that it's a very big thing it's spread across the world and each network administrator may want to control routing in its own network so it's it's not a simple thing to uh, use those routing algorithms uh, for a bigger system for a bigger network uh, for internet so in in that case we have to use hierarchical routing so uh, in hierarchical routing we have uh, divided complete geographical area into small small autonomous systems an autonomous system is nothing but it's it's a collection of routers under the same administrative and technical control so it's like uh, aggregate routers into a region that means a collection of routers in a autonomous system then uh, routers in the same autonomous system run uh, same routing protocol uh, as we have already discussed that routing protocols are of two types intra domain or inter domain so intra domain uh, routing protocols are used inside an autonomous system to provide routing so uh, routers in different autonomous systems can run different intra autonomous system routing protocols inside a autonomous system we have to use same routing algorithm in all the nodes present in that autonomous system but routers in different autonomous systems can run different intra autonomous system routing protocols so as we have one autonomous system can run uh, link state the other one can run uh, your distance vector but a single autonomous system cannot run uh, more than one routing uh, algorithm so it's like that and then after that we have to uh, connect those autonomous systems together uh, to provide the um, routing facility and for, for uh, connecting those autonomous systems together and providing uh, routing to them is all about inter-domain routing algorithms so inter-autonomous system routing algorithms are as uh, I have already told you in our uh, uh, introduction lecture that we have a border gateway protocol uh, which is based on path vector and which is used for uh, providing routing to different autonomous systems so uh, at edge of its own autonomous system has a link to router in another autonomous system that means in all the autonomous system we have area border routers or the gateway routers for that particular autonomous system which are going to connect our autonomous system with the other autonomous systems so inside the autonomous system uh, all the nodes are uh, like uh, running 
uh, intra domain routing uh, algorithm for providing uh, routing inside the autonomous system and in that particular autonomous system there will be uh, one two or more than two routers at the border uh, which are used for connecting that particular autonomous system with with the other autonomous system uh, systems present there uh, and uh, they run inter domain uh, routing algorithm uh, to provide routing here in this this particular slide what we, we can see over here that this particular router which is residing inside autonomous system 1 uh, uh, 1d is got a forwarding table but this forwarding table is got entries from the intra autonomous system routing algorithm and inter autonomous system routing algorithm then only this particular router will get to know about the uh, paths present inside the autonomous system and how to reach the other autonomous systems so uh, that is how it's it's done so uh, router has got both the entries from inter domain and intra domain routing algorithms for providing uh, routing to the complete uh, network of networks now now let's understand the uh, task of uh, task of inter domain routing uh, algorithms inside a autonomous system so suppose uh, a router uh, in autonomous system 1 receives datagram destined outside of autonomous system 1 let's suppose in this particular autonomous system we have got a router uh, which has got a packet uh, to forward and that uh, particular packet is got uh, destination uh, outside this autonomous system not inside this autonomous system outside the, uh, this particular autonomous system so how it's, it's this particular router is going to proceed for that so here we see router should forward packet to gateway router but uh, which one that uh, as you can say that if let's suppose this 1a router is got a packet to forward to um, the destination which is not residing in this autonomous system then uh, how this particular router is going to decide to uh, forward that particular uh, router to the gateway system because this particular uh, autonomous system has got two uh, gateway nodes or routers 1c and 1b which are connected with the other autonomous systems uh, in that particular area so uh, this thing is decided with the help of inter domain routing algorithm uh, so uh, what it does actually learn which destinations are reachable through autonomous system uh, 2 which through autonomous system uh, 3 propagate this reachability info to all the routers in autonomous system 1 job of inter autonomous system routing so uh, what it does actually uh, what all uh, destinations are uh, reachable through through autonomous system 3 and what all uh, destinations are reachable through autonomous system 2 uh, is informed these information is informed to autonomous system 1 through inter uh, autonomous system routing algorithms so uh, in this particular side uh, let's understand the setting up of uh, forwarding table in uh, router 1d which is residing inside autonomous system 1 let's let's suppose uh, autonomous system 1 uh, knows or learns that subnet x which is somewhere inside autonomous system 3 is reachable via autonomous system 3 uh, gateway 1c uh, but not via autonomous system 2 so inter autonomous system protocol propagates reachability info to all internal routers router 1d uh, which is here determines uh, from intra autonomous system routing info that its interface l is on the least cost path to 1c that is being decided with the help of uh, intra domain routing algorithm and then it installs a forwarding table entry xl uh, but 
if uh, this thing happens that th this this particular X network is reachable through autonomous system 3 and autonomous system uh, system 2 as well then uh, autonomous system 1 uh, is going to proceed uh, through autonomous system 3 or autonomous system 2. So now I suppose autonomous system uh, 1 learns from inter autonomous system protocol that subnet X is reachable from AS3 that means autonomous system 3 and from autonomous system 2 as well. So to configure forwarding table uh, in routing uh, router 1D which is uh, here uh, must determine which gateway it should forward packets towards uh, for a destination uh, X. So this thing is being uh, done with the help of uh, interstate uh, routing uh, protocols and uh, that protocol name is uh, hot potato. Uh, let's let's see that protocol in our next slide. Uh, this this thing is called hot potato. So let's understand this this concept again uh, that if if this particular router uh, has to which is residing inside autonomous system one has to send some packet to this uh, particular uh, destination or subnet uh, but through interdomain routing algorithm we know that we can reach to this particular destination through autonomous system three and autonomous system two as well so in that case how 1D is going to send that particular packet to this particular network. So that thing is being decided with the help of hot potato routing uh, protocol. Now suppose autonomous system 1 learns from inter autonomous system protocol that subnet X is reachable from AS3 and from AS2 as I told you a couple of minutes back. Uh, to configure forwarding table router 1D must determine towards which gate it should forward packets for destination X. So now uh, uh, this uh, thing is also uh, done with the help of inter domain uh, routing protocol and that that protocol's name and that task name is hot potato routing send packet towards closest of two routers. So that means uh, which one is closest to 1D. This, this particular gateway router or this particular gateway router. This particular gateway router is connected with autonomous system 3 uh, router and this particular gateway router is connected with uh, 2A which is residing inside autonomous system 2. So whichever is at the uh, closest uh, uh, or shortest distance to uh, 1D uh, hot potato uh, According to hot potato routing protocol, it says that whichever is closest to 1D, it will uh, send that information through that particular node. So it's it's as simple as it uh, as its protocol is hot potato routing protocol. So here, the first thing is learn from inter autonomous system protocol that subnet X is reachable via multiple gateways. Then it will use routing info from intra autonomous system protocol to determine cost of least cost path to each of the gateways either through autonomous system 2 or 3. Now it will use hot potato routing choose the gateway that has the smallest least cost path or which is closest to that particular router and uh, determine from forwarding table the interface L that leads to least cost gateway external Excel in forwarding table. So that is how it's, it's going to happen. And these are some uh, intra domain uh, autonomous system routing protocols which are used in uh, your internet. Uh, so most common intra domain autonomous system routing protocols are RIP used in uh, internet. RIP stands for routing information protocol. The other one is OSPF which stands for Open Shortest Path First and the last one it's a property of Cisco IGRP which stands for 
interior gateway routing protocol so we are going to uh, learn about these protocols briefly in our coming lectures uh, thank you uh, see you in the next lecture